Well, the Utes have figured it out. They're heading to the Pac-12 championship game Friday night against Oregon with not only a chance to get to the Rose Bowl or college football playoffs, but they have a chance at redemption. This is a chance to, you know, rewrite history for, for the U. Last year, an injury-riddled Utah team lost to Washington in the Pac-12 title game 10-3. How much does that loss stick in Kyle Whittingham's craw? Every yeah. loss sticks in my craw, whatever a craw is. Uh, what is a craw? I don't know. Your cheek? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, fish? Okay. But the overall feeling was... Heartbreak. So, and, and it kind of was more motivation as well um, to get back. And, you know, that right after that game, I was, I'm coming back, you know, because I want to win. We've talked about it all offseason that, you know, we wanted to be back in this same situation and, you know, wanted to do, do even bigger things. And so, you know, being back in this, this situation hasn't been a surprise to us. And just having Pac-12 championship game experience helps. I noticed the whole team is not as tense as last year leading up to the game. Um, everybody's loose. Everybody's flying around. You could tell um, it's a bunch of... Uh, veteran guys who've been there and done that. As good as Washington was last year, Oregon may be even better, led by an NFL caliber quarterback in Justin Herbert. It's the best team that we've played this year, the most explosive team we've played, and we just gotta we gotta know that these guys are the type of team that on any given play they can blow up and have a big place. They're really good on the offensive line. That should be the the intriguing uh, matchup of this game and and the battle that's going to be pivotal in who wins the game is their offensive line versus our defensive line. We just feel that. Them as a defense overall, they're, they're as the most talented defense that we have faced. But it's not just the defense. In fact, got to believe this is the most talented team we've had here, and you know, at least that I've you know, since I've been here, and and that's saying that's a pretty bold statement.